Hello, and now uh, welcome back to the final trial of the third case. October 20th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. I'll look already inside the court. That's awesome. Court is now in session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of the, this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on the edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Oh, look, it's her. Will the witness state her name and occupation? The Vasquez. I am a producer for Global Studios. On, on the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Mm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. She's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. The witness testimony the day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and Nate ate T-bone spigs on the table in front of the trailer. We found the hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I hadn't take, I hadn't take me in that. I thought it might have been risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. Then added to court record. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Ryer, cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Hey, the murder. We gotta figure this out. The Vasquez is definitely hiding something. I had to chill her over a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. We went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had to take me. It took 30. We took a 15-minute break. So let's start with, the meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. Like I keep mentioning, my DeVasco's voice isn't going to be the best, or it's actually going to be terrible. Cause I'm, you know, can I do the girly voices? And I don't feel like doing this. So did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. There's to be a rehearsal afterwards. Explain about the rehearsal. And when exactly was that? I forgot it. 
Maybe you could try remembering. No. The meeting ended at 4 o'clock, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you do is state the obvious, Edgeworth. She was fatigued. Explain about that. Hold on! Yeah, had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to a van. Oh, alright. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks. Damn phone, do you have someone who can verify this? Alright, I believe I said do you have someone who can verify this? Because before the phone interrupted, but whatever. Enough complaining, moving on. Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. Find some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. So we might as well press this for details, since I didn't. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the play area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. So, hold on. Alright, so what we have here. The, the contradiction could probably be that she did not eat the steak. <coughs> so what can I use to... I'm not even sure if it's this, but it's like the only thing we have. So I'm actually going to read this through this again. Did someone can verify this? Sal, someone else, one person's enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had t time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. So which means I might have evidence that proved that she didn't eat that steak. So let's look at everything. Jack's autopsy. Maybe this to so stake at 2 p.m. Guide map, probably not. Samurai spear, nope. Block path. Maybe path of glory, no. Cody Scatterman, definitely no. Five-year-old photo, hell no. Sleeping pills, nope. Steak plate, maybe. I know this is the one with the employee area, but I don't know. Thoughts so the random guessing. Well, I'm gonna go see what she said the other time. At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting room. Well, why not? So I'm actually gonna do either the steak plate or the van. Hopefully it's the steak plate. Yes, it is. Ha! As I thought. Because there were steak plates also in the studio too. So I guess they could. The steak plate could be used for both situations. 
You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Right? Look at this. It's a plate. This, this plate was on the table in the employee area of the room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, did I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Ms. Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at the table outside the trailer. Yeah, there were no bones left in that plate. On the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vass was left to trail the eater steak, she ran to the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. But I'm gonna definitely need more evidence than that. Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of a stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let's have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The Steel Samurai Spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? She couldn't. I think we'd have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning... Samurai Spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the Steel Samurai is not used as the murder weapon. Five year old photo. Was that it? Wrong, Mr. Wright. Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now you're, to know you when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I could sense it too, with my fey blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. I can prove that the Steel Samurai was not the... Okay, I thought, I thought they would have mentioned the gate, but... Because there's duct tape on the Steel Samurai Spear. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But, that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're...